My name is Niger Chambers of Big Gold Belt Media, Dion and Andrew King Batch Bachelor. Gentlemen, how you doing today? What's up? What's up? Niger, what's going on, man? I, I'm very excited to talk about the new film, Fear, coming to theaters January 27th. Seven days after my birthday and just how I like it, folks. Wait. Everybody knows I love a good horror film. And I do like a good psychological drama. But damn it, you put them both together and gave us a psychological horror. I wasn't ready for that. Um, yes. this, this is what you're doing during the pandemic, my guy? Man, that's what we did, man. And you know what's crazy, man? I was just, I was talking to somebody earlier, man. And, you know, I, I often get off topic in with films sometimes and just do what I want to do. But, you know, I've had moments where, you know, making movies like Black and Blue, um, you know, early on, Supremacy, um, you know, movies that actually mean and have a really, really deep message. Um, yeah. Here was 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 something as an artist that I wanted to create during that time. And part of what we have to do, you as well, Batch as well, is part of our job as artists is to create and build something that reflects the times that we live in. And uh, at the moment that we made fear, man, I was living in fear, bro. Like I was really in a position where I'm like, damn man, like COVID, we didn't know what it was. Now everybody, listen, now everybody tough. You know what I mean? Now everybody, oh man, you got the vaccine and you, everybody yeah. doing all that, I, I get it. But during the time, man, when we didn't know what this was, I was worried not only for myself, man, but for my kids. You know, it was one thing for me to be like, yo, I'm good. Like I know I'm healthy, I can run, I'll beat it. But when you start thinking about your kids or your mom, my mom is 70 years old, I started being like, yo, this is crazy. Then when you couple that on top of with social unrest, George Floyd marching, that energy, the political side of it, man, I mm. was in a place where I was just like, yo, what the, f what is this? And, uh, <laughs> we created, and we created the film, man. And, and I called Batch. He was my first phone call. Okay. And, uh, we went up to Tahoe, man. I said, man, I got this idea and this concept about fear. And the whole thing became, what does fear mean to us every day? And, yeah. and the reality is, if you allow fear to manifest, it would kill you physically, emotionally, and psychologically. You, today, personally. Yeah. No matter yeah. what it is. And we wanted to just build around that, man. I thought that was the dopest concept that I could come up with. And uh, we came up with this great film, man. And, and it's along the lines of, the social messaging in it is along the lines of what Get Out was, but a completely different message. Okay. Uh, we kind of put it into this world, man, where we wanted people to go see it, but more importantly, understand what we're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. And just, to, just to piggyback off of what Dion said, um, you know, this film is about, uh, it's about how your past traumas kind of define who you are today. And it's about overcoming those past traumas that you've had. And I think that's that's a deep mess message that's within this film as well. I'm hyped. Hey, coming back to you, uh, the number one draft pick in King Batch here. Uh, <laughs> whether you want to talk about your, your personally yourself or your character Benny, uh, could you speak a little bit about what your biggest fear is? My biggest fear, oh man, is not being able to provide for my family. Yeah. Uh, you know, disappointing them. Uh, so that, that that's my biggest fear. So that's why I work so hard. That's why I hustle so hard. And I think a lot of people are in that same position where they fight for their family, yeah. um, you know, and and we have to realize at the end of the day that um, our family is going to be there regardless. They're going to love us regardless. So that's a fear that we have to overcome. And sometimes we work too hard. So sometimes we need to step back and really check in on our loved ones because sometimes we're fighting so hard for them that we forget to even check in on them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Always say check on the strong ones. Last question for you all, since we're running up on time on this question for the two of you all respectively. Uh, what is it to bring together this cast working alongside the cast, obviously, and you came back to, and, and and for you, Dion, there's such diverse group of talent here. So many different levels of experience and, and what people can contribute. So for the two of you, how was it to work inside this mixing bowl of, of such diverse talent? It was, it was, uh, I know it was incredible, man. I mean, look, this is my, this is my little brother right here, man. And, um, me and him took a plunge about five, six years ago, man. I fell in love with him as a person and, you know, so to have him and then to also go get my other brother, Joseph Sakura. Look, man, we get so caught up in this world where, where, where Hollywood has to dictate who's hot and who's not. 
And what I've always done, man, is go against the grain and go find the people I want to work with and the people that I think is hot. And that's why, as an independent filmmaker, on the level that I'm on, my our films work. It's because we, we try to be as authentic and as real as we can. Man, everybody can't get in the mix and bowl of Hollywood. So what we have to do is, as a filmmaker and as filmmakers out there, your job is to make stars. John Singleton made stars. Steven Spielberg made stars. Spike Lee made stars. So my job, man, as a filmmaker, when I look at this world, that this vast world, I'm going like, no, nah, that's my guy. That's my guy. And what ends up happening is the way I pick, it ends up being the most authentic cast you can find. It's Naomi Harris and Tyrese. It's Michael Ely and, and Dennis Quaid. It's <laughs> King Batch, T.I., and Joseph Secor. This is the world, man. And on top of that, man, I really believe we're making dope art and dope movies that for people that look like us and feel like us and think like us. So fear's going to be crazy. I'll let Batch answer the rest. Nah, he, he said everything I... Everything I was thinking, uh, and it's been it's been a pleasure working with Dion. Um, we met on Meet the Blacks, and we've been rocking ever since. Uh, like I said, his energy is unmatched, and not not only as just a director, just a a great person in general. Uh, during the during the George Floyd situation, uh, Dion set up the largest protest in Sacramento, so wow. broke the record, and he did that on his own. So you know, I've been rocking with this guy for a minute. Yes, sir. So I would, I'll leave you with this, man. Fear. Just so everybody really understands what that means. False evidence appearing real. Just understand that. So whatever you think, whatever you think is real, it becomes real, period. Let's go. I'm excited, folks. We got to check out Fear. January 27th. It's a pleasure to talk to you, and I hope you have a blessed rest of the day. Thank you, brother. Go tell them to go see this movie, man. We need y'all there. January 27th, man. Let's go. Let's go.